Okay, it's time for another Redback Spider Roundup. I'm going to need those things there and also my monkey tool. And we should take a look at my spider control method chart. We had a really unusual summer in Australia. We had a lot of fires and the fire season really started back in September. Carried through to October, November, December. January started to be quelled down by here. But because of the fires, it really did muck around with the burns that I do to control the spiders. In this video, we're actually right here. We're at the end of the first week of March. So this burn here will move to here and maybe this burn here will be pushed back a little bit. I really don't know yet. Well, I hope all that counts as being educational. Maybe come in and remember this fact here for something that we see up the end of the video that I shot yesterday. The beep has been removed from this video. And as always, this video is highly educational. Beep, beep, beep. It's a beautiful sunny day today, but yesterday it rained a lot. The ground is nice and sodden and wet. It's a perfect time to do what I'm about to do, and we'll start off in our usual spot down there. Okay, well I can already see some very, very curious web, and uh, yes, I wonder who's living around here. I'll just roll this out. It could be anything living under here. It's a bit rotted. I just want to clear out the spot a bit. Now that's very interesting. I've upset a colony of ants that are living there, so maybe they're eating out the white ants or something. They're our friends, so we better look after them. I think I know what's going on here, and before I disturb this too much, I can actually see a juvenile redback spider. Let's take a closer look. It's just on the bolt because it knows I'm around. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to encourage it down by playing with the monkey tool here. They're probably dead scared I'm around. And I'm just looking up between some tubs here and it's not looking very nice at all. They're only going to be very young redbacks. Uh, I'm going to try and drag this through, see if I can drag something out and then shake it into a little tub I've got here. I might be... Oh yes, okay, there's one there. And I'll just, yes, yep, okay. It's actually wanted to chase the tool. Okay, oh, I've got a little one there. Oh, that's a great example. That's a nice female redback spider just in that transition phase from being a spidling to being one mean mother. Okay, that's what we're dealing with here. I tell you what, she's going to be sprightly. She doesn't like to be disturbed. Oh, yeah, she's on the run. Oh! She's actually a man. She came up to the camera. I hope I didn't swear there. She's in the grass there. Man, I don't know how she came up. Look at her there. Okay. Oh, man, that... That spider is moving very, very fast. I'm just going to get her back to where she lived before because I got a little surprise for her. Something that's going to... She's coming my way. Go back that way, dearie, please. Okay, she's running back to cover. Well, I can tell you what, that's the wrong way to run. Because, dearie, it's good night, sister. Dustin! I don't see it running anymore. And I'll come along now and just go between all the pots like I normally do. And that takes out all those spiders. I love it. I'll just do a boutique burn here nice and carefully. Okay, I've got some of those spider homes that I set up to try and attract the spiders as lures. Let's take a quick look at this. Just got to rearrange some of Mummy's garden here. I'm not seeing web around here, so I'm actually not that hopeful that there's anything living here, but hey, curiosity always kills a cat. I also see ant activity, and often where there's ants, there's no spiders. Anyway, that one is totally clean. Curious. And I suspect the same will be for this one here. Will I be right or wrong? It looks clean as well. Hmm. So the spiders still prefer to set up between the pots versus these homes. Another favourite for redback spiders, it's actually looking pretty clean here. I've crawled along here and I've looked up between all those gaps. I can't see any spideys. But I will give it a little lick of flame just to make sure, eh? Hey? Nothing like being thorough. One of the lovely Rolls Royce lures, spider homes. Uh, I'd always check the lid first, nothing there. And it looks, it looks clean down there as well. Mmm. Just take a look at this one here, and if I'm not seeing any spider web around, I don't think there's going to be anything inside there, but you're going to say, oh, but take a look, please. Mmm, that looks clean as well. 
I'm just going to move the trap out and give it a squirt of cleansing flame up there. Dusted. Just moving along a bit and I'm starting to see a bit of a trend going on here. If I'm not seeing any web under here, I dare say that is totally clean. And I'm just taking a look around here. I'm um, just looking for the web. If I'm not going to see web, I'm not going to fire burn all this because mummy's going to go, well, she gets angry if she finds out what I've been doing. It's funny that, isn't it? No, I'm not seeing anything that sticks out, although I'm seeing a network of web all through here. And there's a spider there. There's the spider there. I think that's a friendly one. We'll leave it alone. We're just kicking into autumn, or as some people call it fall, and I'm just looking around these tubs here, and really, if I'm not seeing web, uh, there's going to be no red backs around. It's looking pretty clean here. One aspect to this part of the garden is at night here, there's all sorts of frog sounds and things that are going to take out red backs. Lots of lizards and skinks live around here. And if I've got that balance of nature going on for me, well, the red backs can't get control. Okay, this is another little hot spot here and it's going to be all rough and ready because it's sunny and shady. I wonder what's going on in here. I'll be honest here, it's actually looking pretty clean. Hmm, that's surprising. What I will do is just give a little bit of a lick of flame. Just in case there's something small about to set up. This is the infamous flame bomb stink bug fruit tree. <laughs> People said I was going to kill this thing. But no, I actually brought it back to life. Okay, there's fruit there. We've never seen fruit on this up until the point where I really hammered those stink bugs with a stack of fire, okay? So all the people who said I was gonna kill this tree, well, no, I didn't kill it. I actually brought it back to life. It was at the last Redback Roundup. Was here we had the trouble in the nest that had all the egg sacs that had opened up. I don't think there's anything else going on here at the moment. I can't see any web and that's really the thing I'm looking for, but I will give it a lick of fire. To be sure, to be sure, isn't it? Is that the saying? And a bit down along here. Another one of these cheap lures if I'm not seeing any web underneath. Well, I'm not going there. This area here has a stack of ant activity, all sorts of ants, mainly pony ants getting about. I'm looking at this lure here. Underneath it's totally clean, so there's no use going in here. What I will do is I'll just do a lick of flame behind here just to clean it out. I'm glad I moved that because I can see some very fine web there and it may be juvenile redbacks. Because this is the time of year there's web there. Yes, okay, well I know how to fix that. Dusted. Oops, sorry Mrs. Chook. Getting a bit hot under the collar there. It's playing out very similar to the last time I looked around this area. Not many established spiders. Maybe just little inklings of small stuff. Let's take a look at this lure here. This is the Rolls Royce model. Expensive thing for a spider to live in. Can't see any web underneath, but you never know what's going on inside. I'm not seeing anything with a number of legs there. Let's take a look down here. Well, this is unusual. There is actually web in there. I'm not sure how much of it you'll see because it's like you know, white web against white. But I'm not seeing a crawly thing, although people are going to say, Oh, but Leo, we saw it. Blah, blah, blah. I think it's an old home in a sense, but I can sort of maybe just get that web out and clean it out, hey? I'm just seeing what I dragged out on the monkey tool there. I'll be honest with you, I can't see a thing. I may move these lures, uh, let's say down to the other end of the garden where the spiders like to turn up. Well, this is something nice to see and I'll try and get in a bit closer. It's what I call the cement spider or a grey widow. It's got an egg sac there and I'm going to try and locate it to another spot before I pull the pool down. It's a very curious place to set up home. There's web network going across to the pool siding there. It comes up here. It's on the metal framing as well. It's been splashed plenty of times, but hey, the spider's stuck in there. I'm going to move the spider into one of these so it can be a nice home for it. Uh, how am I going to do this? I may need two hands. These spiders tend to just drop and ball up, and if I just try and ease it down... It's never that simple, is it? Oh, it's going to want to stay here. Come on, little spider. I'm going to bring your egg sack as well. They don't want you to run away. Oh, okay, it's going down there. And if I get the egg sack down there as well, hopefully she will follow. I've got it down there. She's crawling up to an egg sack now. I hope 
she can relocate in there. Ah oh, yes, it's looking good. Looking good. I've just let a little bit of time pass and what is really nice is the spider has set up a web and the egg sac is there in the web and everything's right as rain. That's actually good because it's going to help me with the next little part of my plan. I know exactly where to set this spider up. I'd say that egg sac is about to open up and what I'm going to do is set this here. Okay, we're going to have a new friend in the garden here and I'm going to invert this now. There's web set up in there. I can turn this over and the spider's not going to fall out and the family is going to stay together and be as happy as Larry. I'm hoping that's going to reset the balance of nature in this part of the garden. This spot here, I finally got around to doing the big cleanup and study of what went on when I neglected it for a couple of years and that will become a totally separate video. It's what I didn't find here that was quite amazing. I'm just out the front now. There's a bit of a story to what was going on around these pots here. That's in another video. But I'm noticing what looks like some redback spider activity around this garden ornament. We've had what is a lot of rain, okay, but it's also the time when there's spiderlings resetting up and I don't like the look of what's going on there. I'm curious whether I can get the garden ornament to open its mouth here so I can see a bit clearer what's going on. If there is a nasty spider in here. Okay, I've got that nice and open. Let's take a look at what's inside that mouth there, hey? Oh my crikey, Charlie's a lovely redback spider. And that there is exactly what eats redback spiders. If only I could get that there to come this way to eat that little redback. Wouldn't that be magical? I'd never be that lucky. It's scampering away now. Well, I'm going to rain on her parade with a little bit of fire. Dusted. And there's a bit of spider activity there. Dusted. So yes, those garden ornaments, the spiders can hide anywhere inside them and it's the perfect home. I can't see an egg sac here, so I got to this one just in the nick of time. I've just found some ants moving along here. I've got a lovely gift for them. Mm -hmm. Freshly cooked redback spider. Yummy. It's going to take very little time for the message to get out to the ant colony. There's a fantastic meal available. I'll come back to that. There's something else I saw over here. Well, that was that garden ornament which had the red back, but I'm not liking the look of what I can see going on in here. And I've got the perfect solution. Dusted. And I think these sort of garden ornaments, they're metallic. The red back spider see them as the perfect home of over this. So I'm going to close its mouth up and basically put it in the bin. Blah. I thought I saw another spider on it. I'm sure it's sorted out now. And moving up to this fairly famous redback spider lure in the front yard, well, I'm not seeing any web here. This is one which has had a fair bit of activity and spiders through it, male and female. But I'm curious to open it up and uh, take a look underneath. I'm glad I had a look because there is a small redback in there, but it could be a male. There it is there, it is tiny. I do believe it's a male. It's moving like a male skittishly. I'll know more when I see it clearer on a computer screen. Often with the males, when I see them move, I can tell what I'm dealing with. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Pretty sure it's male. That's a very curious one. I will leave this spider here because it is in one of the lures. The lure has done its work, which is nice to see, when no female around. Hmm. I dare say it won't take long for her to come and have fun with this boy. And by fun, I mean it's, well, fun for her, but not much fun for him. Down where I parked my cars, I've got a trap there, but I'm seeing some really, really strange messy web here. Hmm, it's an unusual one. There's stacks of it going up to bits here, going up fairly high, going in here. I can see a little spider crawling around in there. I'm not exactly sure if it's ever going to get in focus or not. The web network goes down across here. It's all through here and here as well. And it is everywhere. It's going right down the back there, but I'm not seeing uh, drop-down lines coming through here at all. So I don't think we're dealing with redbacks. Yeah, this is the lure I have all well, down by where the cars are parked because so often redbacks love being in the cars. I'm not seeing web underneath, but I should take a look at this because it's really the first time I've looked in this one. 
Okay, well, I'm, I'm seeing a little bit of web in there. Oh, it's a very, very fine web. I'm not exactly sure if you're going to see it, if I'm getting the sun there. Hmm. We'll live and let live, hey? I'm not seeing really the spotter I want to see. We well, had this big delivery of wood chip, and there is one of the lures here. That's one that I haven't really featured that much. Uh, I have seen web activity underneath this one, but it's all been disrupted by the wood chip. So it's worth taking a look, isn't it? Okay. Well, I was expecting to find something here. I'm just spinning it around there. Um, I'm seeing a little bit of web, but I'm not seeing a spider. And at the base of this is there's a bit of leaf dangling there. So that's why I always thought there was something going on here, but it looks like it is clear. Well, the last two lures and this one here, I'm not seeing any web underneath. I just think we'll leave that one because if there is something small in there, well, I wanted to have some fun. Okay, well, I certainly know there is a red-backed spider in here. I watched what it was doing yesterday, which was quite miraculous. If you take a look down the bottom here, you can see the things that she has been feeding on, one of those beetles that they love. There's also the web network around here as well. There's also something very curious here. It looks like a snail in a little bit of trouble. I wonder what's going on there. I'll just drag this out so I can have a bit of a better look at it, hey? Oh, that is very strange. Uh, who knows their snail stuff? It looks like the shells come apart here. I can see the snail inside. Like, man, I've never seen anything like this. Maybe that is skink. I'll let the snail experts tell me what's going on there. And I'll just put that back where I found it so I don't upset the balance of nature. I'm not going to disturb it today on the 6th of March, but I will show you right at the end of the video what I captured going on on the 5th of March. She's a very, very busy girl. Let's not forget the red bug spider that I gave to the ant colony there. Oh, it's about half an hour ago when it was put there and certainly the ants have found that lovely meal. Perfect thing to eat. It's only been heated up a bit, ready for dinner. And I'm pretty sure the ant colony will tidy that up. Take it down to the ant nest and they are going to be the happiest ants in my backyard. How many times have you heard me say this? Don't mess with the ants. Well, let's finish up the red back roundup video now and we will go back one day and take a look inside that luxurious red back home and see what that lovely female red back spider's been up to. I'll sneak on a bit of an update about Barbie, my red back spider. That was a YouTuber had suggested that name Barbie. I thought it was a fantastic name because she lives in something that basically stars barbecues. There she is there, just actually leaving the egg sack and I actually threw in that cockroach there for her today and it looks like she's going to have a play with that now. Oh, she's quite sprightly, isn't she? I wonder if she'll come up and say hello to me as well. If I'm really lucky, she'll come my way. Sometimes you have to be a bit careful what you wish for here. Yeah, she might be a little bit wary because she'd be fairly protective of that new egg sack. I oh, know she's wandered back down to the cockroach. I oh, know she's come back up to the exit. She doesn't know what she's doing. She is all over the shop basically. Here she comes up my way again. Oh, don't come up to the top, little one. I don't want to be that friendly with you. Oh, she's headed back down now. At least we get to see her lovely red back there. That's why they're called red back spiders. Have to be educational in this video. Or else YouTube gets all silly and smacks you down these days. It's really boring. She's doing a bit of web maintenance, I dare say. That's why she's scampering about a bit. It's nice to see them moving around and being active. Sometimes these spiders just basically sit around and do nothing and they're a little bit boring. We like to see things on the move, don't we? I'm just astonished at how fast this spider is growing. Uh, they really do get up to a good size in no time at all. I wonder what she's doing there. She's sort of just sitting in there looking at me thinking, what are you doing? Oh, no, she's having a bit of a taste of something there. Yeah, so you wonder what goes through a spider's mind, don't you? So there you go, a nice update about Barbie the Redback Spider. Yes, she's got three egg sacs there. Boy, she's been a very, very busy girl. I'm just happy she likes this Rolls-Royce Spider Home I made for her. In no way is it a cheapie.